Sarah is a 63-year-old woman. She has been feeling an itching in the area of the vulva for weeks. It's getting more and more annoying. She has tried creams that she has at home, but itching doesn't get better. She's going to see a doctor for a solution. Will this genital itch of Sarah be caused by a vulvar cancer? Rhonda is a 71-year-old woman. She has noticed a round bump in her groin that grows more and more. She thinks it's caused by a muscular pull she got in the area when she slept in the kitchen. Although she has put ice and anti-inflammatory ointments, the lamp doesn't stop growing. Could this bulge in the groin be part of a vulvar cancer? Watch the full video and you will learn how to distinguish all the symptoms of vulvar cancer so that if you suffer from it, you might suspect it as soon as possible. Let's discover the symptoms of vulvar cancer. This tumor is most commonly located in the labia majora. Because of this location, it is difficult for the woman to observe vulvar cancer directly, so a lesion in the area is not usually discovered until it produces symptoms. Vulvar cancer can manifest itself in several ways. Let's look at them one by one. Situation 1. The woman starts to suffer vulvar itch. The most common symptom of vulvar cancer that has not yet spread out of the vulva is itching. It is important to notice that not every vulvar itch will have vulvar cancer below. Many benign processes can produce this itch. The itching that can be caused by a vulvar cancer tends to get worse over time and eventually lead the woman to palpate an injury in the vulva. Situation 2. The woman palpates a lump in the genital area. When the woman has a vulvar cancer that gradually keeps going, a palpable tenderness is usually felt. It is not usually a palpation by chance. The woman is usually explored because she begins to have mechanical discomfort in the area when sitting or by rubbing with underwear. As in the vulvar area, there are many glands and hair follicles, not every bulge that appears in the vulva is going to be a cancer. It is very important that the doctor explores the vulvar area as soon as possible. Situation 3. The woman discovers a small bleeding in her underwear. If the vulvar cancer is ulcerated, it is very frequent that it produces a serous and bloody secretion that stains the woman's underwear, giving a good scare to her. Unlike cancers of the cervix and vagina, this bleeding can occur in the absence of sexual intercourse. The ulcerated tumor Rubbing with the underwear, especially when the woman walks, bleeds even when the ulcer is very small, so the woman notices it relatively soon. This ulcer can be infected with microorganisms from the vulva or vagina and even from the rectum, which can produce a secretion that adds pus to the blood, serum and dead cells. Situation 4 woman suffers from recurrent urinary tract infections. Because the woman has a very short urethra, the microorganisms of the vaginal and vulval flora and this secretion due to vulvar cancer can ascend the urethra, producing repetitive urinary tract infections, which will make the woman suffer symptoms of cystitis. In some of these repeated cystitis, the urine might turn red. That is why women who frequently suffer from cystitis and urine infections should go to the gynecologist 
to have a detailed examination of the entire genital area. We have already seen the symptoms that vulvar cancer can cause, but what happens when the tumor escapes from the organ, either through the lymphatic system or through the blood? Let's see it. When the tumor is already outside the vulva, it may be because it has followed two different paths. The tumor escapes through the lymphatic vessels or the tumor enters the blood. Let's see where each of these two paths leads cancer cells. Situation 1. The tumor has escaped through the lymphatic vessels. Vulvar cancer cells, when they choose the lymphatic pathway to escape through the body, usually travel first to the lymph nodes of the inguinal regions, where they can produce a palpable mass or nodule, which often frighten women and makes them go to medical consult. After affecting the groin, the next stage of lymphatic involvement is the lymph nodes of the pelvis, where, if many tumor cells accumulate, it can produce an undefined sensation of pelvic heaviness. Very rarely, when there is a large involvement of the pelvic and inguinal ganglia, the rise of lymphatic fluid can be interrupted, so that these liquids remain in the leg, which will increase its thickness. This is called lymphedema. Situation 2. The tumor has escaped through the blood. When the cancer breaks a blood vessel near the tumor and accesses the blood, tumor cells travel throughout the body. In places where, due to their special conditions, they like to stay and live, these cells leave the blood vessel and settle down, growing and multiplying. In the case of vulvar cancer, the most frequent sites where metastases appear are in the lungs, in the liver, and in the bones. Metastasis in the lungs. When tumor cells stay inside the lungs, they often form separate groups with the onset of multiple metastases, which will grow gradually. If they override the function of the lung, they can cause shortness of breath, a symptom called dyspnea. If they touch a respiratory tube, the bronchi or their branches, they will irritate them, producing a very annoying dry cough, which is very difficult to alleviate. If they are placed near a blood vessel, they can break it, spreading some blood with the cough. Metastasis in the liver. When the vulvar cancer cells settle in the liver, they begin to grow disorderly and begin to crush liver cells. If they break them, the contents of these liver cells, which are the transaminases, will be shed into the blood, increasing their levels. We detect this in a blood test. If metastasis compress the small channels inside the liver where bile travels, bilirubin levels in the blood may increase and we may become yellow, a phenomenon called jaundice. Metastasis in the bone. If the tumor cells grow inside the bone, when the metastasis becomes very large, it can break the layer that covers the bone and that has a lot of sensitivity, the periosteum, which causes pain. This growth compromises the strength of the bone and, especially if it is a bone that has to carry weight, it can break. A specific case of bone metastasis occurs when the vertebrae are affected. A back pain may appear and even when the vertebrae breaks, it can produce neurological symptoms that are included in the spinal cord compression syndrome, which is an oncological urgency. As you can see, vulvar cancer can lead to many signs and symptoms. Let's summarize them. The symptoms that vulvar cancer can cause are 
in the vulva itself. Most often the cancer causes itching in the vulvar area. The woman may feel a lump in the external genital area when showering or bathing. This palpation is usually due to the presence of pain or discomfort caused by sitting or by contact with tight underwear. If the tumor is ulcerated, small blood spots may appear on the underwear. If this ulcer becomes infected, it can produce vulvar secretion. Less frequently, cystitis and recurrent urinary tract infections may occur with visible hematuria. In lymphatic drainage regions, most often the woman palpates a lump in the groin area. She can also refer heaviness in the pelvis if it's full of tumor cells in her lymph nodes. Less often, lymphedema of one or both legs will appear. In the rest of the body, if vulvar cancer cells have spread through the blood, the most frequent symptoms are cough, hemoptysis or dyspnea if the metastases are located in the lungs. Increased transaminases or jaundice if the liver is affected. Or bone pain or fractures if there is bone involvement. It is very important to know the symptoms of vulvar cancer. Do not forget to carry out the early diagnostic tests of this tumor that your doctor prescribes you. And get used to exploring the area with the help of a mirror if you don't have anyone at home who can help you in this task. Detecting vulvar cancer as soon as possible is the best way to beat it.